right when you jumped in. The fleet started this war. We're gonna finish. Good work securing the legacy. Good. Is that it? Is that Crix's legacy? Oh, amazing. Ensign, take this and enter it into the data core analyzer. I'm on it, sir. You see, Lieutenant? I told you he wouldn't let us down. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Encrypted or not, that's quite a lot of money to be carrying around. The temptation must have been excruciating. Of course. I have a team of decryption experts from Galbank itself on standby. If they can't decrypt that currency, no one can. I wasn't lying when I said that we had every contingency completely covered. <laughs> it just so happens we did. And with all that money you're carrying, can you really blame us? You could have set yourself up for life, <laughs> but instead, you chose to do the right thing. It's incredible. Well, I'm pleased you made the right decision. I wouldn't have enjoyed having to task our ships to hunt you down. Now, on to other more pressing matters. We received confirmation that the fleet ships were scouts sent to probe our defenses. Unfortunately, one of them grabbed jumped away before you arrived. Which means that Delgado will have the Crimson Fleet prepping defenses of its own. I've spent years studying the Crimson Fleet's tactics. Their decision to sacrifice those smaller ships told me everything I needed to know. That's the plan. Lieutenant, if you wouldn't mind explaining our strategy. Yes, sir. The Vigilance is equipped with the latest in hyper-resistant shielding, making it the only ship that can safely approach the key. The catch is, that the key has access to three orbital defensive batteries that can fire electromagnetic energy. One hit, and we lose those fancy shields. Our mission is to take out those batteries. In fact, I'll be personally leading the assault on Battery Alpha. I need you to be my support. Sadly, we didn't get as much support for this mission as I would have liked. There just wasn't enough evidence gathered. We weren't able to convince Mass to lend us additional squadrons. They feel like they've committed too many resources already. That means we'll have to take out all three batteries ourselves. It's unfortunate, yes. But we wouldn't be here if I didn't believe you could do it. We've also given you a call sign, Renegade, to help coordinate our movements during the attack. Once those batteries are destroyed, you board the key and bring Delgado to justice. You won't come quietly. You do what you have to do. No, I don't. I knew we could count on your support. Well, this is it. After years of planning, it all comes down to this moment. All my hopes and my best wishes go with you. Good luck. The station's on high alert ever since those scouts popped in. Questions? Actually, the batteries were part of the key's original design. The UC built them to bolster the key's defenses. They were worried about an outside attempt to free the prisoners, as opposed to an escape from below. Since the Crimson Fleet is now using them to target the Vigilance, they're basically turning our own weapon against us. <coughs> Far enough you'll need to grab jump. I assume the fleet moved the batteries in order to have maximum coverage for any possible approach. I'd be willing to bet they shipped their track too, so we have a difficult time zeroing in on them. Nice work. Let me take a look. That's a hell of a story. Still can't believe Crix ended up being marooned on the legacy. All that wealth, and the only thing he could do was stare at it. Can you imagine? I almost feel bad for him. He must have driven the guy crazy. Find anything else? Understood. Keep searching and you're bound to find more. 
Keep your nose up and your weapons charged.